Hey everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So as I was doing a project, uh, you might notice it if you're <laughs> the kind who looks around. Uh, but as I was doing this project, I ran into an interesting revelation with the Revolve tool. So let me just start off by saying, typically when you're working in Shaper and you want to make a circle, let's say a circle, right? You need to have a line in the middle so that you can rotate it, right? That's not in the middle, but you get my point. Uh, but the only exception to that being is if you're here in the center, in the exact center, which is, as I've mentioned before, a really good place to be, right? So if we have this, we can revolve it here and we have a circle. So that's the benefit here, right? But if we just use the Z axis, which is weird, uh, we just get this cylinder, right? So this is not really a revolve or is it? <laughs> and one thing I realized as I was working on this project is if you actually rotate this by let's say 20 degrees, you can go and use the tools, revolve, and then you can use the Z axis and it's gonna be funky at first and it's gonna say it doesn't work. But if you go up, there's gonna be some interesting magic happening and it's gonna end up looking like a loft, which was extremely weird. And as, as you know, I do some experimentations in Shaper just like I did with a lot of threads before. And sometimes I run across these interesting little gems and I just wanted to share it so you guys can see it too. So again, it doesn't look like it works, but watch this if we can pass the loading screen. So look at this, this is like a loft. <laughs> Let's make it longer so we have more visibility on here. So as you can see, it creates a great looking handle. So I, I can imagine this being really useful in making handles and you can do this again in different types in different shapes so this is literally like a loft let's try 720 if it'll give us that so you can make even things that look like threads in a sense uh, let's go crazy and try 7200 and i doubt it's going to work but let's just give it a shot so one year later and a failed revolve tells me that i should try something a bit lower like 3600 so let's see how long this loading screen is so on 3600 fail two, I'm going to do a last ditch attempt at 1500 and we'll know if it works. So I did end up trying 7200, 3600 and 1500. None of them worked. Uh, it was saying that there's a conflict conflict uh, in, sen in the sense that it crashes into itself. So we're limited in the sense that we can do 720 on this specific design. I'm sure you can work around those, but it's just interesting that this is even possible. So transform mirror, uh, one thing to show you is that you can make weird shapes and this does not look like a revolve. I mean, if you think about it, so there's an interesting thing to do and imagine having to loft this shape, this would take a lot of work. So this is just a little speed run in a sense for those who want to know this little hack. Uh, and uh, yeah, hope you learned something I did. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.